All right, quick overview of trailing stop. This is on Thinkorswim, but it should apply to all advanced brokers. So select the contract, close selected, change from limit to trail stop. It's currently set on dollar amount. So my contract value of 83.50 is being trailed by a stop of 10 cents, okay? What that means is if I were to submit this now and the contract lost value to now it's 83.40, this would sell. Okay, so on the upside though, the same is true. If we were to go up to, oh, 87.50, cool, we gained four bucks. Once we touch 87.40, okay, we lose that full 10 cents, this would sell, okay? So let's change it to percent. The same is true with percentages. So 10% trailing stop of 83.50 means if we were to submit this now and my contract drops to, um, well, it drops $8.35, then we would sell this. It would sell immediately. We wouldn't, the market would, sorry. On the upside, the same is true, right? So say we go up 84.50, 85.50, 10 of that must be lost before it's sold, okay? So even if we gain $100 in contract value, well now 10% of uh, 183.50 um, must be lost, okay, before this will sell. So it is trailing the contract value, okay? increments this works in dollars again but it's a little different in that what this means is right now my trailing stop is set at an increment of ten dollars so my trail stop currently is 73.50 if i were to submit this right now now on the upside if i were to go 84 85 86 50 my trail stop is still 73.50 now why is that because it works in equal increments meaning in order to move the trail stop up the same movement has to be equal on the upside. So we have to actually gain $10 in value before our trail stop will move up, okay? So that means 93.50 is met in market on contract value. Our new trail stop is now set at 83.50 and it will not change until an extra $10 is uh, added in value to 103.50 and then it'll go up to 93.50 for our new trail stop. I uh, hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, shoot any one of the admin or support members a DM or feel free to ask in chat.